Uh, so I study something called topology, and in topology we want to understand different um, shapes in space. So like I drew some examples of some different topological spaces. Um, and we use numbers like the Euler characteristic to help us tell when topological spaces are the same or when they're different. The Euler characteristic is really cool. So uh, I defined it just for these surfaces living, uh, you know, in three dimensions. These are called two-dimensional surfaces. Um, but you can define it for spaces in higher dimensions too. So like if you had a 60 dimensional space, you can still talk about the Euler characteristic, but it's more complicated, right? Because um, it has, it's not just vertices, edges, and faces anymore. Then we have to have what are called cells in higher dimensions. But uh, we can talk about the Euler characteristic for things in bigger dimensions too. So topologists study things like this to help us tell when shapes are like the same or different. So it becomes like an identifying, like it becomes like a fingerprint, does it? Yeah, sort of. So the difference between this and a fingerprint is that fingerprints are unique, whereas with the Euler characteristic, two things that are actually different can have the same Euler characteristic. So like I told you that the torus has Euler characteristic zero. Um, there's something called the Klein bottle, which is definitely different than the torus, but its Euler characteristic is also zero. So the Euler characteristic is only so smart. Like it can tell some things apart, but not everything apart. So, um, so like if a, a space commits a crime and you know that its Euler characteristic is zero and you look it up in like the fingerprint database, you can't then prosecute it based on that. But, <laughs> but uh, it does help you sometimes. So it does tell us, for instance, that the donut and the double inner tube have to be different because their Euler characteristic is different. So we use it for more serious stuff than just, you know, tiling soccer balls. But, <laughs> but, uh, but this is one cool application.